Are you ready? All right, let's talk about how to save a million dollars. Okay, the first thing you want to keep in mind is that you don't have to be a genius and you don't have to have a high IQ. It doesn't take uh, a miracle for somebody to save a million dollars. Now, what it does require is somebody who's serious and committed and who is willing to take the time to do it. So let's go over some of the techniques and forgive me, it may seem like I'm going around in circles or going back and forth among different concepts, but there's a number of things that you've got to do if you want to make this work. And one area might be related to another area, so while I'm going through this, I'm going to refer back and forth as necessary. The first thing you want to do is to start saving when you're young. So if you're a young person watching this video, if you're under 25, there couldn't be a better time to start saving. Now is the time. You don't want to wait until you are in your 30s or your 40s, even though it seems like you're really young and it may be years from now before you're going to need the money. Now's the time you want to start because this, there's this concept of compounding and if you put money away, not only does it earn interest, but you earn interest on the interest and over a 40 year period you can amass a fortune. So now's the time to start and if you start saving now, you almost guarantee yourself that you're going to get there because that head start, that 20 or 30 year head start over people who haven't started till their 40s or their 50s is going to make a big difference. So if you're under 25, start saving right now. Now if you're over 25, don't worry about it. There's still some things you can do, but you're going to have some catching up to do. The older you are, the more difficult it's going to be, but it's not impossible. The first thing that you want to do is to uh, take a look at where you are right now. You want to take a look at your current net worth. And what you want to do is you want to add up all your assets. Assets are things that you have, such as cash, investments, retirement accounts, your car, your house, any money that's owed to you. So add all that up and see what that comes to. The next thing you want to do is you want to add up all your liabilities. Those are, that is money that you owe. So that would include things like the mortgage on your house, your car loans, your credit card payments, or your credit card debt, and anybody else that you owe money to. Add all that up. So what happens is you've got your total assets and you've got your total liabilities. So subtract your liabilities from your assets and the difference is your net worth. That's where you are right now. So let's say you get 100,000. Uh, let's say your assets are 300,000 and you have $200,000 worth of debt, including your mortgage. So you're, you would subtract the 200,000 from the 300,000 and your net worth would be 100,000. So then what you would have to do is you would have to save another 900,000 to get to that million. So before you can start working towards the million, you have to realize where you are right now. The next thing you want to do is you want to set goals for yourself. You want to figure out, once you know how much you need to save, break it down into smaller pieces. Figure out how much you can save each year and figure how much you can increase your net worth each year. Remembering that the goal is to increase your net worth to a million dollars. So let's say you think that you're able to save 25000 well, set your goal a little bit higher. Set your goal at about thirty-five or 40000 Aim high. Always set your goal for a little bit higher than you think it could reach because it gives you something to strive for. But don't set it so high that there's no way in the world you can make it. Like if you think you could save $25,000, do not set your goal at $100,000. But you could set your goal at about thirty-five or forty, dollars and, and it would be a great goal to strive for. And what you have to do is every time you have an opportunity save some money you need to keep a spreadsheet you need to keep track of where you are you need to keep track of how much you've saved out of that thirty five thousand dollar goal so if you've saved seven thousand so far log that in and then when you save more when you get to eight thousand log that in you need to see yourself making progress because that will motivate you to save even more and if you make your goal 
of the 25 or 35,000, the next year strive for a larger goal. Maybe you might do 40 or 50,000 and keep increasing the goal every time you meet it. And what you want to do is you want to try to increase the goal by either cutting your expenses or increasing your income. And you'll be amazed at how creative you can be if you really want to do this. It is definitely doable. Now, a couple of other things to keep in mind. If you're young, if you're a teenager or in your early 20s, I recommend that you get your college education, get yourself equipped so that you can go out and earn a decent income when you get into your 20s. Get it done with by the time you're 21, 22, 23. Don't wait until you're older because when you're older it gets tougher and it'll take a lot longer. You'll get married, you'll have a family, you'll have to work, and you won't have as much time. So get all that stuff out of the way when you're young. If you're older, well, it's a little bit more difficult. It could still be done. If you don't have a college education, I recommend that you get one because it'll increase your probability of making more money. Now, some other things to keep in mind. There's some things that you want to avoid because I guarantee you there are some roadblocks that can keep you from making this million. Uh, the first thing is debt. Uh, if, once again, if you're young, if you can avoid getting into trouble with debt, then, then stay out of it because uh, credit cards and high student loans and car loans and personal loans, they're very difficult to pay off. It may seem like it's easy to pay off twenty-five dollars or $30,000, but it can actually take a long time unless you're making a very high income. And once you get yourself into trouble with debt, it's very difficult to get out. Now, if you're watching this and you're already in debt, well, don't worry. It's still possible to get out of debt, but you're going to have to get rid of it somehow. It's going to take you longer. You're gonna, you've lost a lot of time because you've accumulated the debt, and I will be making another video on how to get out of debt, but that will be a more detailed topic for another time. But just keep in mind, if you have debt and you want to save a million dollars, one of the first things you've got to do is you've got to get rid of that debt, whether you work a second job or whether you do a part-time business, but you've got to bring in some extra money to pay off that debt, and you've got to get rid of it. Okay. The next thing you want to do is uh, avoid, uh, of course, drugs and alcohol. That is, if you don't want to be a millionaire, get involved with that because that's a sure way to take yourself down. And it's expensive and it's bad for your health, so I would recommend you stay away from that. That's common sense. The next thing you have to be aware of is if you're married, uh, divorce is another problem that can be a big roadblock. I, I've seen plenty of divorces in my 18 years that I've been in business and some of them have been really brutal and to the tune of uh, both couples ending up with hundreds of thousands of dollars in legal fees because they had a bitter long-term fight. If you are going through a divorce, the best thing I could recommend is get it over with quickly and try to make it an amicable one. If you guys are going to fight over who gets the children or who's going to own what assets, you will drain all your assets and your chances of making a million dollars will go down the drain. Another uh, roadblock is overextending yourself. Uh, if you buy too expensive a house or too expensive a car or you get yourself into credit card debt or you just get yourself into the habit of spending beyond your means, before you know it, you'll be in over your head and you won't be able to get out. It'll be a very difficult process once you get yourself into the habit of spending too much money. So live by the rule that you're going to live within your means, you're going to save money every year, and you're going to, you're going to put away as much as you can, and you're going to track your progress because that is the most important thing. And once again, it isn't about how smart you are, it's about how committed and how dedicated you are. And uh, that is what it takes to save a million dollars. We'll see you next time.